I think there's considerable pressure at this point. I think President Trump of the United States uh, has, has made it apparent that he is really uh, looking to Moon uh, to help uh, grease the wheels as far as continuing negotiations between the U.S. and North Korea. Earlier on in the year, President Trump at times seemed to criticize the South Korean president, but more recently he has said that he hopes this third summit goes very well and he's wishing the best for President Moon and his delegation. Also here in South Korea, uh, many people here uh, want an end to the Korean War. Uh, while President Moon has placed a priority on denuclearization, uh, there's been a lot of calls among the public here in the South uh, for a treaty to end the Korean War. And President Moon has said he's pushing for that. Uh, but ultimately, that's a decision that will be between the U.S. and North Korea. Uh, President Moon can only do so much uh, to get us there, to get South Koreans there. He can't declare an end to the war himself unilaterally. Uh, that's a focus here in, so in, in the South. He is in a difficult position. What does he have to offer uh, the North uh, to bring about uh, some kind of uh, thawing on their side? That's the million dollar question, really. And President Moon's office has been a bit quiet about how they're going to approach Kim Jong un in this third summit when it comes to restarting talks between the U.S. and North Korea. I actually spoke with one of Moon's top advisors last week and asked that same question. What is the Blue House's roadmap uh, to achieve um, a breakthrough in the stalemate between Washington and Pyongyang? Uh, and he said he, he simply wasn't allowed uh, in a position to speak on President Moon's plans. Uh, what we can see the president doing right now is trying to further inter-Korean cooperation. If he can't offer a promise from Washington that it's going to take the next step and then Kim Jong-un does more to dismantle his nuclear weapons, perhaps President Moon Jae-in uh, can encourage North Korea through economic incentives. For one, his delegation is by far the most interactive uh, of the North and South Korean summits. He has brought major heads of business to North Korea. And when they are not in meetings, they will be visiting different facilities in the North, depending on the organization they represent. E.J. Young, for one, the de facto head of Samsung, is there. Uh, and I think President Moon is trying to show North Korea that if things go smoothly, intercooperation continues, and there possibly is a breakthrough with the U.S., that North Korea may be uh, the beneficiary of many economic exchanges and economic benefits from, from South Korean business leaders and beyond.